A local high school student is dead and at least two others are hospitalized after authorities say they overdosed on drugs. CBS 2's Lauren Posen is live in Hollywood with the search for the dealer who sold them the deadly pills. Lauren. Marcy, within the last hour, the superintendent spoke and he was a bit emotional. He says he's heartbroken, but also very frustrated that this is going on and he wants to see some changes being made immediately. Counselors are on campus here to talk to students as they grieve uh, the loss of one of their own classmates. Now, here's how this all started. On Tuesday, parents reported their t uh, two teens missing uh, that when they didn't come home from school, 15 year old girls. The stepfather of one of the girls looked all over town and eventually came back here to Bernstein High. Police say around eight that night, he found his stepdaughter collapsed on the ground of the school courtyard from an overdose. Now she was able to tell him that her friend was in the women's bathroom. At the same time, there were events going on here on campus. He was able to contact school staff. They checked the bathroom and found the girl, but it was too late. Police say the surviving teen told them they bought drugs at Lexington Park, just two blocks away from this high school. Now through the investigation, detectives discovered that that same night, two other teen victims of drug overdoses got drugs possibly from that park and possibly that same dealer in this same area. Police believe they all bought Percocet laced with fentanyl. Now the superintendent of LAUSD says within the past three weeks there have been reports of at least six people who go to schools nearby trying to sell drugs to students at that park. Lexington Park is two blocks away from literally hundreds of teenagers. There should be no harm associated with a school, a park, just because an individual with ill intent decides to spread destruction and death to our young people. Now we know that two of the victims are at the hospital. One of them is 17 years old and goes to Hollywood High. The age um, and condition of the fourth victim is unknown. This is an open investigation, and police are asking if you have any information to give them a call. Reporting live in Hollywood, Lauren Posen, CBS 2 News.